This is going to be a super quick, simple, and easy way to install Commomon for the newest current update. Commomon 1.6.1 for Minecraft 1.21.1. But just as a quick disclaimer, you will most likely be able to use these methods for any version of Cobblemon. So if you are watching this a little bit further into the future, that's okay. You should still be able to use it. Now, there are multiple different methods, so I'll leave the timestamps down below so you guys can instantly go to whichever method suits you best. First things first, all these methods require a paid Java Minecraft account. And all the links for each different website you'll need will also be linked in the description. So please follow step by step and don't do anything that I don't do. So for the first method, we will be installing Cobblemon onto a base version of Minecraft without any other mods. So for this, we're going to need to firstly download Cobblemon. Again, the link will be in the description for this. When you click the download button for Cobblemon, it will redirect you to ModRymph. But don't worry, as you don't need to use ModRymph for this method. Anyways, click the green download button, then you will see this pop up. Select the game version and platform you're wanting to use. For this example, we're going to be using version 1.21.1, and Fabric for our platform. This will then download a Java file onto your computer. You can put this anywhere. I usually just download it onto the desktop just for easy access. Next, you will need to download Fabric. So click the link in the description for Fabric, then hit the blue download button. Then once it loads, click the download for Windows button. And again, install it onto your desktop. Then you want to do the same again, but this time with the Fabric API link. Open the link, click the green download button, select the same version of the game, 1.21.1, and hit download. Next, open the Fabric installer, and you want to change your Minecraft version to 1.21.1. Then hit install. Then click done and load up Minecraft. When you load up the Minecraft launcher, you should see bottom left, Fabric Loader 1.21.1. This means you've installed Fabric correctly. Next, hit installations, find your Fabric Loader version, then click the file button. Once your file is loaded up, you want to find the mods file. Now, don't worry if you don't have a mods file. This is fine. You just have to make the file. So right click, create folder and name it exactly as I do. No uppercase letters, all lowercase mods. Then drag and drop your Cobblemon Java mod and the Fabric API mod that you downloaded previously into the mods file. Then jump back onto the Minecraft launcher and hit play and you should be good to go. All right, and now that you're loaded up into Minecraft, all you want to do now is hit multiplayer, click add server, and you want to type in wilson.mmorealms.gg for an amazing server. So what you want to do is double click that, and then you'll see a little pop up here, which will say to download the resource pack in order to jump on the server. You just want to click yes. Then all you want to do is press M to choose your starter Pokemon, and you can pick from every generation of Pokemon and pick up whichever starter you want to begin your journey. Any issues, Discord link will be down below. Join the Discord and then you can get help there as well. Next, we have the CurseForge download method. This one will be super simple and very, very quick. So download CurseForge, links again will be down below. Once that's downloaded, you wanna load up and sign in with your Java Minecraft account. All you have to do after that is hit the search bar and type in Cobblemon. Pick which mod pack you want to use. All servers will most likely have a pack here. So personally, I'd go with my server, the Cobblemon SMP, which will be at the top of the search menu, especially if you want to play Cobblemon with me or even potentially be featured in one of my videos. Then you can just hit install and once it's all finished, you can hit play. It will load you straight into the action and you can pick your starter and start playing. Finally, we have ModRymph, my personal favorite pick for installing and playing Cobblemon. Once again, links will be down below in the description for this. So click the link for ModRymph, then hit the Get ModRymph app and click a Download ModRymph app in the green button. Once that's installed and loaded up, sign into ModRymph with your Java Minecraft account, then head over to the Discover Content tab. Through this, you can search for mod packs, so type in Cobblemon. Then you can pick your desired mod pack. There are loads of different server mod packs here, but if you're looking for a good one straight away, I'd recommend you install the Cobblemon SMP. I co-own the server and play it most days when I'm recording videos. So if you want to play along with me on your Cobblemon journey or just want to be featured in a video, 100% install Cobblemon SMP. Once the install is completed, hit play and you'll be thrown straight into the action, being placed into the spawn and ready to pick your partner Pokemon to begin your journey.